hello children welcome back hope you are all safe and fine okay children in the last uh, live class uh, you remember the topic which we have uh, studied or which we have discussed okay see it's very simple uh, like we came to know about the organism which live in a different environment okay now we studied that the animals which live in hill station is not the same animal which live in the plains and the animals which are seen in the polar region is not the it's not the same in the case of desert okay so the animals which live in different atmosphere and different environment will keep varying okay for example when you go to the hill station you will be able to find you know the lion tailed macaw or you know a lot of monkeys will be there you will be able to find the deer okay you will be able to find the, the bear okay and you will be able to find the uh, you know the varieties of uh, elephants okay uh, but when you come to the plains you may not be able to find these animals okay in the case of plains you'll you'll be able to find the buffaloes you can find the ox okay varieties of cow you can find okay but when you go to the polar region you'll be able to find the polar bear you'll be able to find uh, what else penguin okay and if you come to the uh, which area when you come to the desert you will be able to find the camel you will be able to find uh, you know uh, a rattlesnake and you will be able to find a, a desert lizard and all okay so the animals are not the same worldwide based on the habitat and the place where they live it keeps varying okay so uh, like you know the living creatures are where are differ and uh, they are of various kinds in their own environment okay and see in the place uh, you know where we live there is not even a single uh, you know uh, maybe uh, a hole we can find without any living organism even if you open your cupboard you'll be able to find the cockroaches there okay in the book rack you'll be able to find the silver fish okay and if you just go near the tap you'll be able to find the mosquitoes okay if you go near the garden you'll be able to find the earthworm over there so you'll be able to find lot and lot of living creatures in the environment in which we live okay and uh, what they do means uh, children they keep adjusting themselves to the environment in which they live they adopt themselves okay for example if you take the camel which live in the desert they drink water and save the water for days together okay they have a hump on their back okay and they save their water even without being thirsty they can live for days together okay but in the case of you know animals if you see in the water they need only water to live okay they have a special type of body which is called a steam lined body okay only with the help of that body they are able to swim they have very thin fins and uh, you know wings uh, tail and they have uh, you know there's something called as gills which help them to breathe which help them to take the dissolved oxygen in the water from the water okay is that clear okay so each and every living organism they have their own characteristic based on the surrounding in which they live is that clear children okay see if you take the birds which fly okay they have their wings okay they have their body and they have their bones which is hollow okay and uh, i remember you guys have studied in your last uh, year of fifth standard that on looking at the birds flight was discovered okay but if you take the animals which are live on land they don't have the wings to fly they have four legs okay to walk on the land okay so the animals what they do is they have their own special character uh, to adopt themselves to the environment in which they live okay the same way in the case of plants also okay there is in the uh, trees which are seen in the hill station there will be very thin eucalyptus pine roll will be seen in the hill station okay but when you come to the 
plains you will be able to find coconut tree and banana tree how the leaves are they are very wide okay and if you go to the polar region again they'll be having you know different kind of leaves so even the plants okay plants are also not the same based on the climatic condition based on the environment in which they live it is different from each other is that clear children okay bye